Watch out, Apple Pay. Google Wallet is expanding. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Google Wallet is getting a boost with a new partnership. Google announced its mobile payment app will be pre-installed on Android phones sold by all four major U.S. wireless carriers. Google Wallet has been out since 2011, but limitations hindered its success. Sprint has been the only carrier to officially support Google Wallet for mobile payments. Other wireless carriers teamed up against Google to support another payment system called SoftCard. But guess what? That also didn't catch on with consumers. Google announced that it acquired SoftCard technology, and this partnership means Google Wallet will get more love and exposure from Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. By expanding Wallet, Google has a better chance to compete with Apple Pay. And Samsung is also throwing its hat into the ring. Last week, Samsung acquired Loop Pay to be integrated into its own payment offering. And we may look Learn more about Samsung's mobile payment plans next week at the Mobile World Congress trade show taking place in Barcelona, Spain. The Samsung Galaxy S6 will be unveiled on Sunday, and T-Mobile is giving folks an early promotional tease with this image and the corny phrase, six appeal. Uh, well, as you can see from the image, the screen on the Galaxy S6 will wrap over the side, just like the Galaxy Note Edge. Samsung also has a teaser video for the S6 that hints the phone has a curved metal design. Galaxy S models are known for having plastic casing, but these days the competition is all about the metal. But before we see Samsung's latest design, HTC is going to first show off its new flagship Android One phone on Sunday, most likely called the One M9. There are reports that HTC may reveal two phones. This render comes from Evan Blass, a leaker with a reputation for being right. As for LG, the company isn't even waiting for Mobile World Congress to start. <laughs> LG just announced four new mid-range smartphones, the Magna, Spirit, Leon, and Joy. The Magna and the Spirit are the better of the four, and they're going to have slightly curved screens and round backs, and they're going to have Android 5.0 Lollipop installed. Each of these budget phones includes some of LG's new software tricks, like Gesture Shot. That's when you start a selfie photo timer just by making a fist in front of the camera. Expect smartwatches and wearables to be another big part of the mobile showcase. LG will have on display the new LG Watch Urbane. It's a circular smartwatch and a metal body with leather straps. It'll be battling Apple Watch when it comes to high-end fashion. And HTC may also show off its first smartwatch. Reports say it could play nicely with both iOS and Android phones. That's your tech news update. There's always more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.